Well, hello there, City Church family and friends. Welcome to day number 10. Peter, we're going to be moving in and through Luke chapter 10. But again, today we're actually going to be sending people over to the Bible Project video because Luke chapter 10 through chapter 24, big span here, over half of the gospel is going to be what some would call Jesus' death march to Jerusalem. It's where he's announced he's going to go to Jerusalem to die, and he's moving in that direction. So do you have any thoughts? Yeah, maybe um, a helpful way to frame how we use these videos is that on the first day of the uh, Bible Project, you got a, a review of chapters 1 to 9. Mm -hmm. um, and that was in some way a chronological review that was trying to show us um, how Luke is setting his gospel up. And now we're going to get 10 to 24, which yes. is going to show us how Luke is going to set his gospel up um, in a kind of chronological sense. Yesterday, the video we watched was a video designed to help us see kind of the emotional shape of uh, Luke's gospel. And so if you keep in mind that on the one hand, we're kind of working with the structure of Luke's gospel in the mm -hmm. sense that it goes chapters 1, 2, 3, 4... But on the other hand, we're also working with the story of Luke's gospel. Um, and as many of you may know, these gospels were not written with verse and chapter numbers. And so we're trying to see both things at the same time and let one illuminate the other. So as you watch this video today, even though it's going to cover a lot of what was covered tomorrow, it's covering it from a different angle. And it's our hope that we get a more comprehensive view of Luke's gospel and what he's doing by looking at it from these two points of view. Yeah, and Peter, one way I'd like to pitch this, when Peter was young, uh, he and I went to a lot of plays together, and I would go online, find the playbill, and read through it so that when I got to the play, I actually understood it in context. That's really what the Bible Project videos do. They allow you to read the next 14 chapters and to do it with a sense of the story to where you can understand why Luke is writing what he's writing. So that's kind of it for us today. And so we're going to send you towards the Bible Project video. God bless you. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow.